Good morning, friends. This is Jamie Nelson with Equilibrium Counseling Services. Today, I just wanted to talk about adulting and how hard being an adult is and also how freeing and rewarding being an adult is. That is just like this weird mix of I don't know what I'm doing and I'm in charge. Um, so I just wanted to acknowledge that like nobody knows what they're doing and everybody's figuring it out and it might feel like all of my peers know what, what's going on and I'm behind. That's not true because I have your peers in my office and we're all figuring it out. And one of the things I enjoy most about my work is running groups. And so I have, um, I have a, an adulting group that I'm working. So all of the things that we're trying to, oh yeah, forgot that, you know, I have to do quarterly taxes when you open a new business. I forgot that. Um, so the group is to kind of just like normalize that, that we're all figuring it out. It's okay to make a mistake. You don't have to have your whole life planned out because guess what? It can change at any moment. You can decide to switch jobs, switch careers, go back to school, stop going to school. All of that is flexible. And I think that that's something that we're not told. I think we're told all the time, whether we're in school or not, that we have to have a plan. We have to know where life is going. And I agree. Having a plan is great and it definitely helps everything, but plans are changeable. You can alter a plan. You can create a new destination and that is okay. So what my recommendations are, is kind of focusing on today, what you're trying to get done today, tomorrow, and next week and start to put that in place. Use the resources available. There's a lot of things that either your community, your school, your religious affiliation provide to help you be able to stay connected and know what's going on. So if you're not going to school, use the resources on campus, use the tutors, use the study hours, use the counselors that are available there to keep you on track because sometimes it's hard for us to create our own structure. So let's let others create it for us and ask for it hey, I want to have a regular meeting with my academic counselor so I stay on track. Or I want to regularly see a therapist so emotionally I stay on track and I don't get stressed out and crash halfway through the semester. Or I'm working three jobs. I don't know how to keep it organized. How do I manage these different schedules? Are there different apps or different programs? Are you a paper pencil person? Are you an app person? How do I keep my schedule straight? Schedule in self-care. If you are going to work, work. If you are going to relax, relax. But if you're going to avoid everything and just be on Instagram for eight hours, you're not going to feel relaxed and you're not going to feel productive. So finding that balance with that. I have no problem with social media. You want to sit on Instagram? I'm down with it. I do it too. But say, okay, I'm going to only do this for a half hour or I'm going to only do this in between as my breaks so that you have that balance and structure. Hobbies, please have a hobby. Please find something you're interested in. There are a lot of free groups, free hobbies. Meetup.com is great to find people who are maybe interested in what you're doing. The city offers things. The libraries offer programs. Find stuff just to get out of the house, especially if you're living at home with your parents, which most early 20s are, and that is normal these days. Rent is crazy expensive. So have things that regularly get you out of the house. You're in this weird balance of I'm an adult and I can make my own decisions, but I'm still a little bit dependent on my parents and we have to balance that out. And that's an okay place to be. We're trying to work forward into that independence, but hey, how society is right now, that's pretty hard. Um, yeah, nobody knows what they're doing. Ask for help. Talk about it with your friends. You're not alone. I bet if you said something, half your friends would be like, dude, me too. So let's just keep that in mind. Um, if you have any questions about resources, adulting, how to get information, um, if you want tips on scheduling stuff or creating your own structure or asking for somebody else to create your own structure, I'm happy to give that info, but reach out. Um, hashtag adulting is hard. Um, that's it. But if you're in the Rancho, Ontario, San Bernardino area and you are interested, I do have a group that I'm running weekly um, for adulting purposes. So just kind of like get together, have a community me and like, hey, dude, what's worked for you? Okay, this is what's worked for me. Let me share it. Can we be accountability partners? Can I stay keep in check with you so that I stay on track? Sometimes it's really just nice to have somebody walk that path with you. Um, anyway, that's me, Equilibrium Counseling, Jamie Nelson. Uh, yeah. Have a good weekend.